Hello, and you're very welcome to the GRE TV's exercise video. Mike O'Reilly is my name. I'm based here in County, beautiful county, Roscommon. And Galway is a beautiful county too. And you'll hear from my voice I'm from Dublin, but I know you won't hold that against me. I'm a qualified personal trainer, qualified in health and fitness, and qualified in physical therapy. I'm going to run through five exercises with you today. And the end result, we're going to try and improve your energy, improve your posture a little bit, and also improve your mood. The mind and body is one, it's all linked in. So I'll go through the exercises briefly now, and then we'll do our training session. You can pause this video at any time if you need to get anything. The first thing you need is a broomstick or a bit of pipe, whatever you have. And we're going to do a posture exercise for our shoulders, chest and back. That will be the first one. The second one, we'll keep using this. We'll plant it into a chair or the sofa. We'll stand back and we'll press down Pressing down into the stick as hard as you can, and then walking your hands up. Pressing down and walking your hands up. That's also a very good posture exercise to do. The third exercise would be the squat. The squat, we all do it every day, getting in and out of a seat. It's a very important movement to keep in your later life because if you keep a good squat, you can keep a bit of independence. You won't have to have anyone help you out of a seat uh, ever if you can do a good squat. If you're not comfortable doing it like that, you can squat onto the seat or the sofa behind you. Okay, and then the next one would be an upper body exercise to strengthen the upper body a bit. We'll do a press with the stick that we have. You can get a can of beans as well. They work as well. And then the last exercise will be another posture exercise that we'll do at the end. So we're going to begin our class now and we're going to do 40 seconds of exercise and 20 seconds rest. The first exercise, as we said before, is for our posture. So feet apart, hands apart, slowly bring it up the broomstick or the stick that you have and back down. You can do this at your own level. Some people might be able to go all the way back. If you can, please do so. Keep your arms straight. Everyone will have a different level. And if you just follow along with me to make sure you're doing the same amount of work as me, that'd be great. Okay, a good stretch there. So that's about 10 that we've done. So, have a little rest, shake your arms out. We're probably all a bit stiff after being in the house for so many months. And if we're on screens and computers and we're doing a lot of sitting, you might just be a little bit stiff and sore. We move on to the next exercise. Stick into the chair or sofa, feet apart, pressing down into the chair, pressing down into the stick and walking our hands up. So press, release, press, release, press, release, press and release. Okay, so you should feel a nice stretch, upper back, side of the body as well. Very good for your posture. Um, posture is a huge driver of your mood, how, how good you feel. If you have a hunched over posture, you probably won't feel great. But if you're up, standing up straight and tall, you'll probably feel better about yourself. And your energy will be better. The next one is the all important squat. Feet apart, about shoulder width apart. Now we're just going to squat down and back up. And keep our feet flat on the floor. So make sure your heels are on the floor. Okay, so from the side it should look like this. Straight down and back up. Follow along with me. Good. If you're not comfortable with that, you can do it onto the back of your seat or sofa. And back up. And back up very good so if you're a bit more advanced you can get all the way down and back up once your feet are flat on the floor and you're comfortable with the depth that you're going that's all you need to do that's good well done we'll have a little break now the next one we're going to do is for our upper body we've done our lower body we've done a bit of posture work we've done our lower body we'll do our upper body you can use your stick you can use two tins of beans, just press it overhead, 
two, three, four. If you're a bit more advanced, you can go slowly up and slowly down. So if you're more advanced, if you find it too easy to go fast, slowly up and slowly down might be better suited to you. For everyone else, just a normal speed. Just like that. Okay? Very good. And you can have a little breather, shake your arms out. The last exercise we're going to do is also another posture exercise. This is just to open up the posture there. So we begin, we put our hands out to the sides, hands up, and give us a thumbs up. And then put your thumbs behind you. So you're pointing your thumbs back and let it loose. So what we're doing is our hands up, palms up, thumbs up, pointing behind us and squeezing for one, two, three and relax. You should feel a nice stretch across the middle of your back. Again, all of our postures have been disrupted for the last while. Palms, thumbs up and back. Squeeze them together. Do it from the side, so up, thumbs up and back. Okay, so that's gonna open up your posture. Open up uh, take a bit of relief off your neck, shoulders and chest. You can do these exercises at home anytime. They're very easy to do. And with an open posture, you'll have a better mood. And the GRE TV is open. Zoom calls and in the classroom. My name is Mike O'Reilly. Thank you very much.